Python or Ruby, which is better? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, John Lilder here from CodingMe.com. And if you're a brand new coder looking to get started, which programming language should you pick, Python or Ruby? Luckily, I wrote the book on each of these languages and both were Amazon number one bestsellers, so I have some thoughts. Let's break it down to these six things. One, how easy are they to learn? Two, how easy are they to code? Three, what web platforms do they have? Four, what kind of communities and resources do they have? Five, what's the job outlook for each of them? And six, what are the pros and cons of each? Number one, ease of learning. Both Python and Ruby are notoriously easy to learn. With either my books or my intro courses on each of them at Codemy.com, you could easily pick up the basics through the intermediate uses of each one in an afternoon. Data types are straightforward. For loops and while loops are simple to follow. Logic is a breeze with each of them, and functions are a piece of cake. Even more advanced class-based programming is pretty simple with both Python and Ruby. Compared to some of the more complicated programming languages like C or Java, Python and Ruby are both super easy to learn. So i call this one a tie between them. Number two, ease of coding. Ruby was almost designed to be easy to code. In fact, I think they built coder happiness into their mission statement, but so did Python, especially if you're coming from a more old school coding background with like C plus or Java. Both Python and Ruby are a joy to code with. Not only are they both easy to code, they're also easy to read. Maintaining legacy code could be a pain, but not so with either of these languages. Their syntax is simple and intuitive. There are no weird semicolons or other special characters like endless brackets to drive you crazy. They're both just clean. So again, tie. Number three, web platforms. You may or may not want to become a coder to work on websites, but if you do, which is better? Python has Django and Flask as their major web platforms for building websites, among others. Ruby has Ruby on Rails as the main web platform. I have a ton of courses on all of those web frameworks over at Codemy.com, but which is right for you? Historically, there was a real movement 15 to 20 years ago towards Ruby on Rails. Many major websites went that route, and some still use it. The idea of having an all-in-one web framework was very novel back then. But since then, Python and Django have really overtaken Rails as a more dominant web framework. Mostly, in my opinion, it's just because of simplicity. Rails has continued to get more and more complicated, whereas Django is easy to use and much more lightweight. And Python and Flask is fun for smaller projects. Again, I literally wrote a number one best-selling book on Ruby on Rails, and I'm sitting here telling you Django is better. So in this category, I'm going to have to call this one for Python. Number four, community and resources. Python has been the number one programming language in the world for years. The community is arguably the most developed and vibrant. There are zillions of third-party packages to do almost anything you can dream of. Have a problem with your code? Google it and you'll probably find 20 answers. Always. Now, Ruby has a decent community and many third-party packages in the form of Ruby gems but it's simply nowhere as extensive as the Python community. You'll usually find the help you need, but it may take you just a little longer to find it. So in this category, I'm definitely giving the win to Python. Number five, job outlook. Python is easily more in demand from a job point of view. Ruby is more niche where Python works for so many different things from web development to GUI development to data science, machine learning, AI, which Python just crushes Ruby in. Just head over to indeed.com and search Python jobs in your area versus Ruby jobs in your area. There likely won't even be a competition. Unless a company in your area is working with a legacy Ruby on Rails website, which there are many of those out there, you'll likely be hard pressed to find jobs. Because of this, there are likely many more jobs in Python and the salaries will be much higher compared to Ruby programmers. It's a supply and demand thing. So in this category, I've got to give the overwhelming clear win to Python. Finally, pros and cons of each. Let's start with Python. Well, the pros are ease of learning and use, wide range of applications, vibrant community and rich ecosystem, lots of jobs, and data science and AI. The cons are, well, there's a little bit of a performance limitation because it's an interpreted language. And it's not super strong in mobile development, but that's pretty much all I have for cons. For Ruby, the pros are ease of learning and use, just like Python. And Ruby on Rails still is used by many major companies. So if that's your thing, you can find work there. The cons are Ruby on Rails is just hard to learn and sometimes frustrating. The community is not as vibrant as Python. And Ruby's just not a leader in data science or AI. So there's less job opportunities and lower salaries. So it's probably no surprise if I had to pick a programming language today to focus on, I'd go with Python every single time. The opportunities are just much greater. The scope of things you can do with Python seems almost limitless. And it's just fun. Now, Ruby is a fine programming language and it's a joy to code. It really is. 
but it's much more of a niche language these days with limited opportunities. That being said, if you just love Ruby, you can find work as a Rails developer, but it'll likely be focused on tech centers of the world, your Silicon Valley companies, whereas Python has broad use all over the world. So my name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and if you like this video, stay tuned for the next one comparing Python to JavaScript. And check out Codemy.com to learn all these things. I'll see you guys in the next video.